so it's impromptu sort of PSA review time. There are some apps in many different app stores, but especially in the Windows Store since there isn't a whole lot there and people want to fill in some app gaps, app gaps, app voids of things that people want that you should never use. They seem like they're really useful features, but they're not. For example, here is a, an app set called Go Drive or Go Docs or Go Sheets or whatever. It's like, okay, there's a Google Docs app for Windows 10. That would be pretty cool. And someone in our Discord pointed that out. And I was like, oh, really? And then I searched for Google Docs. Nothing shows up initially for like official stuff. I was like, no, there isn't. And they show me this. And I'm like, okay. It's from a third party company, a Spanish third party company, which is fine. But all it is, is they wrapped the Edge browser around Google Docs. That's it. He started talking about how it's nice, and he sent me a screenshot, and I was like, dude, you can do that in Chrome. In fact, you should be doing that in Chrome. Apparently, it's not common knowledge that you can still do this. Here's a comparison of what I'm going to show you versus the thing. The only difference between the actual app and what I'm going to show you is the app has some back and forward buttons that you can use with your mouse buttons or backspace, alt backspace on the keyboard a home button and stop button, which are effectively useless, and a refresh button, which you can hit F5 for, and an advertisement, because that's legal and Google is probably A-OK -okay with that, right? So if, if this is something you wish to create, specifically for any website, but specifically for Google Docs, we will go here, docs.google.com, and this is actually how I prefer to use Google Docs, since you can see everyone likes to comment on how many tabs I have, since it's hard to keep up with scripts that way. I prefer doing this. So you have this here. You go to the settings little three dots. Used to be hamburger menu. Go to more tools and go to add to desktop. You can give it a name if you like. What's important here is to click open as window. And then you hit add. And then it makes a little icon on your desktop here. Or I have two now. But called Google Docs. A direct native shortcut. You open it up. It's its own window as if it's its own dedicated app separate from your Chrome. So then I can close Chrome and I can manage this. So then I can open up my OBS versus Streamlabs OBS script. Bam. Bring that over here. You know, manage it however I want independently. If I want another one, I can just double click on the shortcut or middle click on the icon in the taskbar and bring up more. So if I'm working on multiple scripts without having to mess with tabs, without having it directly within Chrome, I can then pull up different scripts here and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's it. That's all it takes. Natively built into Chrome. I think Firefox was working on implementing a feature like this. I don't know if they ever did. This is all it takes. You have native integration here. Don't use shady apps. Like, this is way safer than logging in through a browser that some third party has wrapped. Because this is, all this did was wrap a Google Docs or a Google Chrome browser instance around the website and take away all the extra browser features. So you just have a title bar. That is all that Windows Store thing did. That is all. It is literally just Edge, since that's the only thing Windows Store apps can use. So they wrapped Edge around Google Drive. Could possibly be siphoning your information through it and added advertisements at the bottom, which of course they're not going to show you in the picture. Don't fall for this stuff. You can always do stuff separately. If you want a native app experience of websites, Chrome lets you do that. Short video, that's all I had to say. If you liked it, go check out our sponsor TubeBuddy if you want to run your own YouTube channel and manage it effectively. I could not manage my YouTube channel without it. That's TubeBuddy.com slash EposVox or EposVox.com slash TubeBuddy. They have tools for scheduling your videos from unlisted in case you need to share them with Patreons, syndicating to other websites, a plethora of SEO tools for researching keywords, ranking your own videos, things like that, backing up your channel's metadata, more tools than I can ever name in one video. Go check them out. Otherwise, comment, like, subscribe. I'm Eupos Vox here to make tech easier and more fun. Hopefully this is the easier aspect. I'll see you next time. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Our videos would not be possible without the generosity of those of you who contribute to one of our fan funding options. Be it donor box, Twitch subscriptions, direct contributions via PayPal, or Patreon. To join our inner circle and get behind the scenes looks at videos, Go to eposvox.com slash support to learn more and join us on Discord at eposvox.com slash Discord. Thanks.